I have my Sky Hunter all set up now with the gorgeous Carbon Bird gear, 3515 Carbon Bird motor, 12x6 prop, KST digital Metal Gear servos, and here's in the business end. It's taking two uh, 3S3000 batteries to balance it correctly. There's the Parasirius Air 3 flight control board with, with Sirius Air 3 iNav loaded on all set up, ready to go. There's my X6R receiver uh, connected via S-Bus to the flight control board. I also have one of these um, nice accurate 5 volt 3 amp UBECs from Carbon Bird which is specifically designed to power the Air 3 flight control board. Has some nice capacitors on there too to smooth out voltage. If you had a, a, an ESC or a UBEC that didn't have decent capacitors, you can buy an add-on uh, 3300 25 volt capacitor and that just plugs into a spare slot on the flight control board. You can also plug one into the receiver as well and that just sort of absorbs any voltage spikes or current surges so that you're not going to cause a brown out uh, with your flight control board or the receiver. Just a good safety feature but I don't need it because this BEC takes care of that. GPS sitting up on the top there you see right down the back there trying to keep it away from everything else and nice and in the airstream for a bit of cooling. So we're pretty much ready to go and try out the Sky Hunter as it was meant to be. Lovely day, bit of wind. We've had crap weather for so long. Got to make best opportunities of the nice days. I'm going to do a line of sight flight first, checking out all the return to home uh, loiter and altitude hold and those sorts of things, stabilisation, make sure I've got it all set up correctly then we'll do a bit of FPV. I have flapper on set up too through INAV, that was nice. Need to wait until I've got GPS lock for the home position. Yes I have, we've got the flashing red light. Start off in horizon mode just for a bit of stabilisation. Oh well, let's see what happens. <laughs> So that's flying well enough in horizon mode, stabilised nicely, fair bit of wind. That's how much wind there is. <laughs> That's flying easily, stabilised, loiter mode now. It should just circle around there, holding altitude. Wouldn't mind it being a bit higher. It's working okay though. Doing its job. Return to launch, that'll climb up to 50 metres. Exactly, I've got it at. It should circle around there. So, uh, downwind going fast, and fly away. No, it's doing okay. Yeah, that's good. Happy about that. Need to try auto launch now. <laughs> Come down. <laughs> Nice soft landing, very good. All right, so we're ready to try auto launch. I'm gonna be launching into this long grass here, so it's not gonna do any damage. There we go, that one worked. That was good. Time for some FPV. Oh, I love that landing, that's good. Okay, we're ready to fly FPV now. Hopefully we've remembered everything. Launch mode. Launch mode. Ignition on. Yeah, that works. Horizon mode. Into horizon mode. And we're in business. Woohoo! Just 
trek off up the coast a bit. Angle mode. Angle mode. Get a trim going. How cool is this? Get out to the coast a little bit. The winds are slightly offshore, so I have to be a bit careful. <laughs> Very cool indeed. Turn off launch mode. Loiter mode. Return to launch. Return to launch. Let's see how that goes. Like it the way it's pointing down towards the horizon mode. I'm sure it works, I'm just <laughs> a bit nervous at this stage. I guess I just have to trust it, but I uh, just don't like the way the wind is blowing slightly offshore, so any mistakes will have it drifting out to sea. So it's directly above me now. I'll turn around and face the other way. Now we're heading down towards uh, there's the Black Rock treatment plant over there. There's the uh, Bancora Beach over in the distance. Over the dunes, I've got a beautiful signal. Just keep on flying. Right over the dunes now. Okay, I'll bring it back. Need a diversity receiver, maybe. That voltage is low. Struggling into the wind a bit. Come on. Keep coming. Needs to be going down. We've landed over there. That was a little bit more exciting than I wanted. Uh, turns out my batteries aren't really up to it. They're only 20 C, 3,000 uh, 3 S's, uh, and there's a fair bit more wind up there than I can feel here. And it was really struggling. Had to go almost full bore to get it to make progress into the wind. So I just landed it short here. To be fair, I should try it on a less dangerous day when there's less of an offshore wind. It is a beautiful day though and this is the only spot I can really try this stuff out. Uh, but the Carbon Bird Sky Hunter with Sirius Air 3 iNav controlling it works beautifully.